Hello, welcome to another SAP Sample Spotlight. Today we have SAP developer Rui Chin. Hi, Rui. Hello. And my other esteemed colleague, DJ Adams. Hi. Here uh, to talk about a notable new repository um, in a collection of so-called BTP use case factory repos repositories. Take it away, DJ. Thanks, Brian. And yeah, also welcome from my side, Rui. So um, this is, yeah, super exciting for me because this seems, uh, when I started looking at it, um, to be, you know, a, a part of a larger whole. You know, we've got this, it's a, it's a use case. I can see here from the, uh, from the, from the title of the, of the main readme here, uh, integrated order management cockpit, SAP BTP use case. Now also, just above here, we've got some really nice organization at the repo level. We've got this BTP use case factory topic, GitHub topic. And if I open that, we can see that in the um, SAP uh, samples organization, which is where this uh, topic is used, there's a number of repos that are sort of considered use case repository samples for BTP. Stuff on workflow, stuff on the mobile developer kits, uh, stuff with S4 HANA, cloud extensions, and so on. So that really is, if I'm not uh, mistaken, that's that's the context of what this is all about. Is that right, Rui? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so um, let's just have a quick look at what this uh, this repository gives us because I had a quick look at it this morning, well, actually, uh, more than just a quick look, because it was, uh, you know, full of really good stuff. This is all about, you know, uh, you know, a, a real life scenario, uh, purchasing and sales, and you've got this sort of um, this 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 uh, pull push between the two organizations. This is like the scenario, um, and you want a single source of truth, um, and so this is this is a use case that can be built upon to, you know build a solution to, to help resolve that sort of business use case. Is that, is that am I more or less on the right path here, yes. Rui? Yes, yes, that's correct. So uh, this use case is like, you know, uh, based on uh, a real case, real customer project. So uh, it's uh, the customer is in a supply chain industry. So, uh, you know, this uh, uh, unified order management use case is to help them, you know, they are kind of like a traditional industry, and yep. this is to help them like digitalize. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So um, we've got here a complete sort of scenario uh, with uh, a bit of back end logic. We've got some uh, schema definitions and some actual sample data, right? As as far as I remember, mm -hmm. for um, for Hana in the cloud, and we've also got a, a front end. Uh, in UI5, Fiori front end in UI5 that can be run uh, locally or, you know, pushed to the cloud and serve from there, right? So um, if we have a quick look through, um, you, you've described here the challenge of, you know, what this scenario is all about and what this use case delivers is this sort of, you know, the solution and integrated order management cockpit. So that's really the front end being served by the back end. Um, what you need is... Uh, a bit of HANA Cloud on mm -hmm. a B2B sub account. This repository supplies the schema definitions. So we'll have a look at those in a minute. Um, you need a backend server. You also supply the backend server. You can run that, you can deploy that and run that on B2B as well. And uh, you also need this front end, which again, you, you know, you or the team has also supplied. Um, there's a couple of sort of setup steps, right? So you, you've got, first of all, setting up the, the, the sub-account, setting up the BTP stuff. Um, let me just open that in a separate window because this is also incredibly uh, detailed, right? So uh, just talk us through what this will, uh, will, will bring, this particular setup step. Yeah, so uh, in order to, you know, uh, real run this application, so, uh, you know, uh, you have to uh, first uh, have some setups. So in this repository, uh, you know, there is a mission folder that includes two steps uh, in order to uh, re <clears throat> run the application in real time. Yep. So yeah, the first step is uh, you need to set up uh, a BTP. Uh, so in including uh, Cloud Foundry and uh, uh, SAP HANA Cloud. So there will be a step-by-step -step guide in this uh, um, 
in this folder. And then if you yeah scroll down, there is a like you know step by step yep. nice. uh, things you need to do. And uh, yeah. So this is this is using the the booster feature of the BCP uh, mm -hmm. platform itself that will itself create resources, create sub accounts, directories as yeah. required, right? And assign entitlements, roles. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So the booster uh, feature is kind, you know, kind of I like it very much. So you doesn't need to, you know, manually configure anything. Mm -hmm. So you, you just go to the booster, and uh, there will be a pre-defined uh, uh, stats that you can just choose. Yep. You know, I I have this screenshot there. You can just choose one of them, mm -hmm. and it will automatically, you know, give you the setups, and you don't need to worry anything that's. If, you, if I need this or not, you know, it will just uh, out, out there, yeah. This is amazing. I mean, this is so much detail about a booster. I mean, the whole point about mm -hmm. a booster is it does everything for you, but this is really great yes. detail as to how to use the <clears throat> booster. So once the booster has been run, uh, then you're going to end up with all the resources that you need in your sub-account, right? And then you go mm -hmm. back, um, and this is, this is the second part of the setup, right, which is yes. all about... Um, deploying the sample application, right? Mm -hmm. Just talk us through this a little bit, please. Yeah, sure. So after you have the BTP set up, uh, you can go through uh, step two, which is, uh, you know, uh, set up the applications. Mm -hmm. So uh, so either you can, you know, uh, write uh, on your locally machine or you can choose to deploy to cloud. So either way is okay in this uh, guide. So, uh, so first uh, you will see in the step two is the, uh, you know, uh, there there will be uh, there is a sample data included in this repository, and then you can just uh, run the SQL query uh, in your Hana cloud. Oh, and that's the, right. Yes, that's the. Yes. In fact, if if I go back here, open this other tab again, I notice that um, again, nicely organized. We've got the 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 mission, which is where we where we are right now, and we've got a sample data that contains the, a couple of uh, SQL files. That's mm -hmm, to yes. create the schema, right? So this is this is mm -hmm. creating the the business scenario uh, entities. So you got the material stock table and the PO schedule line item, the purchase item, sales item line uh, tables, and so on. And you got the different views. So all of this is already ready to go. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, also so you've got the the the, the this, this is what we've seen in the screenshot, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah, we include uh, uh, some sample data for the users. That can you know, uh, you know have a real uh, re, you know have the content to see in the application, mm. right? So by uh, running this query, uh, you know this inserting the sample data to a Hana Cloud. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So that's the back end. Well, that's the the persistence layer sorted mm -hmm. out. But mm -hmm. you've also got now the back end server, which will actually then use the persistence layer and then serve up via HTTP server <clears> responses. <throat> From the front end, right? So that's this mm -hmm. is now setting up the back end server. Yes, that's correct. So there, uh, it's also included a back end server uh, that you can use to serve the content, and uh, there will be you know uh, the step by step guide uh, mm -hmm. that uh, help you uh, set up this server and uh, either uh, yeah, like I said, either locally on your machine or you know, you can deploy on the cloud foundry. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I mean, I like the fact that you can run it on, you know, I, I, I running things locally first of all, then I'm going to deploy mm. it to, uh, yes, to a, yes. a, a, mm. a, you know, a cloud space. Um, and we've, we've also got, I like the, the fact that you've also included um, little uh, test URLs and what you should see as a result, mm -hmm. which is always, always really helpful. And then finally, yes. once we've got the persistence layer store, sorted and the back end uh, section sorted, we will, let's talk about the front end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <clears throat> front-end application so is also included. So if you follow the step uh, guide here uh, and uh, uh, just just uh, if you want to uh, run it locally first, you know, you just mm -hmm. need to specify the server URL to uh, your local host and then uh, run it. It will be running on your local host. And uh, if you want to deploy it to, to cloud, you, you, know, you just need to uh, do some little bit uh, uh, switch, uh, switches to the URL, and mm -hmm. then it should be good to go. Yeah. There we go. There's the deployment stuff there. But, but also, I mean, I can tell from here. I mean, I could guess anyway. Uh, we could all guess that it's going to be a Fury application, UI mm -hmm. five, and we can also, you know, get some clues from 
the actual uh, path here, but also the, the the great thing is let's go let's just have a quick look at what we've got. So we've, we've seen the mission directory, we've seen the sample data directory with the two SQL files. Uh, we've got the back end stuff in here, okay? Which um, I think it uses you're using Express right with different router files. Yes. So this yeah, this is a Node.js app. Yeah, a regular Node.js app, which is why you can fire it up with uh, with with npm, mm -hmm. um, and also if we go back to the uh, UI directory, that's something that front end folks will be super familiar with. You've got everything defined in your package JSON. You've got your scripts to start and build, uh, and build a distribution as well, uh, and you've got your development dependencies too, which is fantastic. So it really is just a question of you know running npm start for the back end and the front end. Um, and in fact, I, I'm just, I, I'm sure I just saw in the uh, second mission step, I saw a screenshot of the, uh, what the, the front end app should look like, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the, uh, I think one of the pages uh, when the application is running, yeah. Nice work, nice work. So um, I, th I think in terms of, um, you know, what's covered in this particular use case, I mean, it's a really nice self-contained sort of business scenario. And you've got everything. You've got the data. You've got the uh, the persistence layer definition. You've got the, the back-end server. You've got the front-end UI. You've got instructions to deploy it to uh, BTP. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't I don't think there's anything missing. Oh, yeah, there was. there is one thing missing, the kitchen sink, as they say. Uh, you've got everything but the kitchen sink. So this is fantastic. I mean, um, I, I think uh, just before we started, it was, was just before we started recording, you... Uh, mentioned to Brian and me that this there's a related um, mission in the Discovery Center, right? This is this unified order management. So can you just tell you, tell us how this SAP samples repo relates to this mission here? Mm. Yeah, sure. So uh, if uh, <clears throat> you go to, you are familiar with the uh, Discovery Center, uh, you know that there's a lot of uh, you know, missions and uh, uh, user cases uh, mm -hmm. in the discovery center, right? So, uh, you know, this uh, unified order management carpet is one of the missions in the discovery center. So if you uh, find the mission there, you can just uh, lead you to this page here. Mm -hmm. And uh, this page includes everything about this project, you know, uh, from uh, background knowledge to, you know, requirements to the step-by-step -step guide, you know, everything is here. So, yeah, the repository, you know, in this uh, mission is uh, uh, related here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And I think, I think that's a great phrase to end on. Everything is here. Everything really is here. So, uh, uh, yes. yeah, Rui, thanks for taking the time to talk us through this. Um, I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to get things installed, run the booster, get things set up on a, on my my trial account, and uh, you know, see where it goes. Okay, well, thanks very much, Rui. That's a uh, goodbye from me. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you very thank, much, Titi. Thanks, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once once again, we 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 see how much there there is um, under the hood. Yeah. Uh, so so great job. I'm impressed how comp comprehensive um, and detailed this is. So thanks for taking us through it. Mm -hmm. cool. no Thank you very much. All right, that's bye from me. See you next time. Goodbye, folks. Mm -hmm. See you. Bye bye.